Hey folks, just bringing you up to date on the Weed Warrior racing tractor uh, being built by myself for this uh, Sprocket racing team. I'm building it to Woo Rules uh, for the modified class. This is the first video I've shot of it, so I don't really have anything prior to this for you to catch up on except for the stuff on the SRT uh, on the um, DIY Small Engines forum. So just to uh, set the stage here, it started off as a 1980 Sears LT 1136 lawn tractor uh, with 11 horse brakes and strat, and I basically tore it all apart and threw it out from there. Um, as you can see, I've gotten a good start on it, although it's not nearly as complete as it looks at the moment. Uh, most of what you see is either mocked up or, you know, tack welded. Uh, very few of the welds are complete, but let's have a look at her anyways. Um, I did a little body work under the hood or on the hood there to clear the engine. I've got a Briggs and Stratton 18 horse opposed twin in there and uh, with the uh, with the shrouding and the heads it stuck out too much for that narrow hood so I had to do a little mocked up body work. I'll fill that in later and make it look better. From the front end she's got a nice low mean looking stance which ain't too bad all things considered. I've never done this before but uh, what the heck it's, uh, it's looking like something anyways. Uh, all of this being mocked up gives me a clearer picture of where I'm headed for this, or headed with this. Um, what you see there is a Peerless 700 uh, transmission, which I've modified. It was originally 3-speed. Uh, I made it a 4, just to give me a few more ratios to play with. Uh, Go-kart steering wheel and hand throttle. Um, that's, again, mocked up. It's mostly complete. Uh, so let's have a look at the gut, shall we? Did some work on the hood, too, and now it tilts in a way that it never did before which is a bonus. Uh, what we have there is the gas tank from a snowblower that I've modified and played with to fit. I've modified the cap to be a remote vent so that it won't slosh fuel all over itself when it gets bumpy. As you can see, the flywheel's off the engine right now because I'm doing some engine work and playing with some stuff on it. The, uh, the seat, by the way, actually came out of a race car and uh, it had the side support and a high headrest and I had to cut that down to size and I haven't had yet had a chance to deal with the upholstery. Um, just to give you a bit of a peek under the dashboard here you can see that I've reinforced the hell out of the dash with some steel tube and uh, you can see the beginnings of the steering system there. I've cut down the universal joint from a Chevette, I think it is, uh, steering column uh, to fit the 5 8 uh, round steel that I've used for the steering column. Uh, going through a bearing in the dashboard, into the U-joint, a bearing on the support, and a flange bearing going through the floor of the tractor to, uh, to underneath. Um, and it does work well. I had, to, uh, I had to clearance it, see if we can get in for a tight zoom. See the shiny spot on the U-joint there? Yeah, well I clearanced it with my die grinder to get a little more angle out of it. I'm um, getting on to the mock-up of all other things. Ha ha ha. Um, now, as you can see by the steering here, uh, it's a little bit ugly because, again, the tie rods are mocked up and the heim joints are just old pieces I had kicking around for the purpose of mocking up. Um, the axle is just made out of a piece of recycled square steel tube. And you can just kind of get in there. I've modified the, uh, the spindles from a go-kart, and I'm going to have to continue the modifications right now to get, uh, get enough steering in there. <coughs> Um, the brakes, I've got the brake pedal mocked up uh, right here, control arm here which runs back. I've got the brakes from a 1983 750 Honda Interceptor, Let's see if I can get the camera down there. You can just see the master cylinder down underneath here. I know it's a little bit dark, not much I can do about that right now. That's where I've got the master cylinder tucked in there underneath the fender. And if we can work our way around to the back of the machine, let's see if I can get my a bit of a better viewing angle underneath. There you go, you can just see the master cylinder from that interceptor motorcycle, or I'm um, sorry, the caliper, it's a little cold out here, my lips are frozen, my brain is frozen. Um, zooming out a little bit here, you can see the inch and a quarter axle, uh, you can see the brake rotor from a pit bike that I've modified to work, uh, a temporary rear axle sprocket, a princess auto weld on that I modified to be a bolt on to that inch and a quarter split hub, and the inch and a quarter pillow block bearings that I'm using for the axle to roll on as well as the axle supports. Um, again, there's a lot of it that's simply in a mock-up stage and still has to be adjusted, play with, altered. Uh, you can also see the seat pedestal 
that I made from the tubing that I stole from an old steel tube chair and just cut and reshaped and resized and played with to fit. And that hose right in front of you is the master cylinder for the bricks, which is accessible above the fender pan. There's the cap right there. And uh, that's basically the short version of where I'm at right now. Um, I've got some pretty cool uh, Turf Master tires in the rear, uh, 16 by 750 on eight, uh, on eight inch aluminum Douglas Junior Dragster rims. And on the front, I've got some 13656 Turf Master tires on six inch Douglas aluminum go-kart wheels with the hubs to go with it. And just on this angle, you can kind of see what I've been doing with the exhaust. Uh, it was a homebrewed homebrew header off the other tractor uh, that I scored for the engine and I just had to do a bunch of cutting and reshaping and rearranging to make it fit. Um, I've got it dumping into a collector under the running board. Did I bolt that down? No, I didn't. Great. It dumps into a collector under the running board there and just exits basically below your feet. The rear fender unit, by the way, came from an old Boland's garden tractor. So that wasn't the original fender, and I just did some cutting and shaping and sizing to fit. So, as you can see, I've got a good start on this thing, but I've got a long way to go with it before it's anywhere near complete. But this is where we're at right now with the Weed Warrior race tractor.